Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to, uh, I don't know what to call it, uh, Manador SimTG, I guess that's what I should call it, right? And uh, today we're going to do a review of these Streets of New Capenna uh, Precon Commander decks. Uh, this one is the Bant one, I believe. Yeah, Bant. Um, basically, counter guy, I guess. I don't really know. I haven't even looked at any of the things. It just says counters, so I'm assuming it's counters. Uh, so yeah, let's open this bad boy up. Okay. Wow, I messed it all up, huh? I believe these decks come with two packs. I don't know. Never seen this before. Two packs, I believe. Oh, what is this? I'm not really sure what that is. Then really look into that. Assuming it's something to do with New Capenna. Maybe the band symbol? Who knows? Um Get out of here, package. Psh. Boom. Messed up my camera a little bit. Go away. Alright, let's see this thing. Okay. Package as usual. So, this is weirdly folded up. Could be possibly tampered with, anyways. Um, it said two. Or one, this is one, right? This comes as one. It comes as one, but there's two cards in it. Let's see what this guy says. Harry the Pulverizer. One colorless, or the generic now, I don't know, and the Bant. Whenever Perry enters the battlefield, put a shield counter on target creature. Shield counter. If it would be dealt damage or destroyed, remove a shield counter from it instead. Okay. Whenever it attacks, target creature you control gauge trample, gets plus X plus X. Okay. Actually, never no, no, no. Okay. Cool. So, like, kind of uh, overwhelming stampede for one creature. I don't know if that exists, but maybe it does. Who knows? Um, let's see. So you get this guy, shiny, cool, whatever. Um, let's see, gross, defensive. Well, I'm just going to go over all the, the commanders. I think there's only two of them. Um, let's see. Being an arrow key, put a shield counter on, on target creature and opponent controls. One of you put one or more counters on a creature you control. Don't control. Tap that creature and go to gain strap one turn and to your next turn. So basically, that's like a, a go type thing. Like you... Uh, you... Um, Give their give their give their uh, creature like go and they just can't attack you right so that creature but it also gives them a shield shield counter so helps you helps you and your opponent out pretty much let's see broker's charm that's pretty cool mm. that, I really like these lands I mean they're kind of just like uh, any you know I think it's honestly I think it's better than like. Uh, Evolving Wilds, you gain a life, and it just, you just it comes in and sacrifices you. Know, you don't have to tap it or anything. Pretty good, pretty good. Um, generous gift, yep. Good removal, pretty good. So I'm assuming there's got to be a lot of proliferates in here. Drumming bird, that's pretty good. This is like a like if you if if you want to like buy this, I mean I don't know why you would. You could buy this and upgrade like your um your attracts a deck or something. Oh, arcane signet. Okay. So, pretty good, pretty good mana rocks. I'm surprised there's no soul ring. I didn't, didn't see that there. Let's see, destroy all creatures and no counter. That's pretty good. It's not bad. Definitely, definitely just good for Atraxa. Which I keep saying Atraxa because I, I have an Atraxa deck and pretty much bought this deck for that to upgrade that. I mean, some of the things in here are pretty good, you know, especially for that. I mean, some of them, I don't even know if they've been printed before. Um, but I think I think a lot of these are just going to get straight, stripped, thrown into my uh, Traxa deck and, you know, forgotten about. <laughs> Not really. I have, had, I, I have this card in there. I don't have that card, though. See, there's, there's a lot of cards in here that are pretty similar to, like, Scavenging Use. I didn't know that was in here. I don't know, like I said, I didn't go, didn't look at any of these, so... Like I have, I bought all five of the precons, by the way. So be prepared for more, uh, more videos just like this one of me just reviewing, you know, 
Canopy Vista. Pretty good card. I wasn't I was not really expecting these to be in here, honestly. Like as I feel like as the years go by, like proliferate. Karn's Bastion's in here. Okay. I actually need that for my tracks. So that's something I don't have. Like these, this is really cool. Like as as we kind of go along with commander, uh commander precons and everything, I feel like they're definitely giving us more value. Um that that's oh, there's soaring in here. And Swiftfoot boots. That's pretty nice. I mean, like, definitely giving us more value. Uh, as like a whole, you know, I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm right. I don't really know. I haven't bought a pre-con in years. We got all three of the Vivid Creek uh charge counter lands. I don't really remember what they're really called, but um they're budget budget lands pretty much. You know. Wait, we got four arts in here. Hold up. I didn't know these came in here. Four forest plains and island. And the hard card. I don't even know why they send those with them, but I don't really care. It just gets thrown away or, you know, whatever. Just kind of thrown wherever. So that's, that's not bad. It's not bad. I think these uh, commander decks are just always going to have soaring and command, command, uh, what's the commander sphere soaring and arcane signet from like pretty much now on. Like, Unless you're like the lower end commander decks, kind of like uh, not like the non camp commander sets that they print, that they also bring out precons that are commander. I don't know. They're kind of weird. Like the, uh, what are they? The Innistrad, the Crimson Vow ones, or the, uh, the other ones, the other ones that came out, the other, the other uh, Innistrad set, I think, right? Crimson Vow, there was Crimson Vow, and then Midnight Hunt, right? Kind of like those ones, like the dual, dual ones. They're not really commander precons, I guess. I guess they're just kind of like, you know, whatever. Um, let's see. There's definitely some good cards in here. Like it's not. It's they're obviously precons. Probably just going to be like a four in power. Like uh, just like most precons, but definitely seems there's like a lot of pr like um, proliferate. Like that goes. That card is in goes infinite. Like with like uh. What is it? Uh, what's it called? Hold on, I know, I know what it is. It's a card that like removes counters, right? I think. Can't remember. Anyways, this definitely seems like there's a lot of proliferation and stuff in here. Definitely like kind of get into like the, you know a power range where you could actually play. I mean, four you can just still play with a four, you know. You don't really have to be like crazy, like 10. This could definitely win games. Like, you just straight out of the box and definitely just win games. Especially, especially that they're just like putting these lands in here. Like, Karn, like Karn's Bastion's probably one of the best proliferate lands. You know, I think it's the only one, maybe. I don't know. Scavenging Ooze. Pretty good as well. It's just, and this card, this card was like four or five bucks before like they reprinted it. I don't know what it is now, but I think it was like four or five bucks. Airflow and Chalice, yeah, pretty much, pretty much what, like, you know, it's beginner jo joins in there, like, yeah, that just throws all the stuff in a deck type stuff, so, not a beginner, but, like, somebody who played after three months, like, oh, yeah, pretty good deck, you know, just throw it together, you know, I don't know, I'm just talking nonsense now, I don't even know, basically, what I'm saying is this, this deck is, it's probably worth the buy, like, honestly, I mean, I, I haven't looked at card prices in over, like, I don't know, <laughs> over, like, nine months. So I don't know what anything is right now. So maybe I'm wrong. This is pretty good, too. I mean, four, four mana, it's kind of, like, meh. But, like, stuff like, there's a lot of, you can do a lot of upgrades to this deck. Like, you have, like, this card in here, Moral, with you can just, if he stays on the battlefield for more than, like, three turns, you just, win with combat damage so especially if you have like herald of the secret streams or whatever right here that makes your creature blockable for like if it has a counter on it or whatever um the yeah, i don't really see anything else in here that's like crazy good this five mana for choose three you can choose three so you can proliferate three times so that's pretty cool um it was kind of a freeze kind of counter on give that okay so that's not bad either this just basically says i don't know why they worded like that but 
proliferate. I don't know why they didn't just say proliferate. Give that permanent or another player. Oh, that's permanent or player. I mean, I'm pretty sure proliferate says it's the same exact thing. Anyways, I don't know why they just didn't put proliferate on that card. If you guys know, just let me know down in the comments because I have no idea why they just didn't put proliferate on that and call it a day. Anyway, some of the some of the removal spells in here are definitely like this one's like not a great board wipe. I think I'd rather have like a dam or something, but obviously there's no black, so um I don't know. This is cards okay. Um kind of the wait a what is it? Put twelve you have to wait twelve turns unless you have like proliferate, then it's like six. But if you can proliferate more than like twice, you know, per turn, you're just chilling, you know, you just Boom. And it taps for mana. Uh, I mean, I know, it draws you seven cards. It's not bad, but it does get exiled, so that's the bad part. This card, pretty good. It makes all your shit tap for mana. All, all your stuff. I didn't say the S word. Um, pretty much all your stuff to tap for mana, which because, I mean, everything should have a plus and plus encounter on it. You're just how you're doing that. Um, we'll top to put it on the cards this way and the rest of the bottom of the library in any order. Okay, so this bitch is just gonna come in and swords the plowshare. Minus two X outside creatures, controller gains life. That's not a bad card. It is a bad card, actually. A really bad card. Hold up. I thought it was, I thought it said three. No, it's six. It's a pretty bad card. Uh, yeah. I mean it's good, but it's bad, you know? I don't want to play six mana to exile a creature. I mean, I just rather run swords the plowshare over this. Unless you can proliferate and stuff, then you can just keep doing it over and over again. But, you know, put five counters on each creature control and put five little two counters. That's not bad. Well, it's on each other. Okay, so that's... Eh. I look at it and say it's not bad, but I'm like, man, that kind of sucks. But it's not, it's not bad. You know, it's just, they just put Swords to Plowshare on a card, Planeswalker. And, I mean, the Johnnies are kind of weak. I'm gonna be honest. I don't really like I don't really like planeswalkers, so uh planeswalkers are just not great in my opinion. I think they definitely just need a revamp or something. They just need to change just change them because they're not they're not great. I feel like there's definitely a planeswalker just every every deck. They they have a precon. It's just like, oh yeah, they're just trying to push these like planeswalkers, you know. So you do have Jenner's Gift, which is probably when is the 3 3 gonna matter type stuff? Uh, just destroy target permanent. Literally anything on the board, destroy it. Guy's Cradle, destroyed. Um, Cabal Coffers, destroyed, you know. Commander, destroyed, you know. It's just like, you can destroy anything. For three mana, I, I think it's, I think it's like definitely just a B or A, you know. It's not, not terrible. So, yeah. Let's crack this pack. I, I've been, been like, I just keep forgetting about it. I'm just like, I just want to talk about this deck because it's not a bad deck. And I obviously I bought all these. Okay. So I bought them in a bundle, right? And they're all, all like discounted. So it's like 150 bucks for all, all of them. So 150 bucks for all of them. I don't think it's that bad. It's about all five, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe these packs, maybe this like, these decks are like terrible. I, mean, I just, I don't know what this is. Magic, probably like a owner's manual. No, I'm kidding. How to play the deck. You know, the, they they do put those in here sometimes. Uh, let's see. This over here. My hands just look like Cheetos on the camera right now, let's be honest. All right, let's see. I don't know what you can really get out of these. Um, never really looked. I didn't really care that much. I was like, oh, cool. I'm buying a $40 deck. They're like 59 now, actually. I'm pretty sure they raised the price on these pre-cons. Run like a $40 deck and I could get a free pack with it. All right, cool, whatever. Um, what's that? Secret layer. I don't know what that this is. Does not give you a... Okay. I, I figured it would give you an MTG Arena uh, code, but it didn't. So, Let's see, we got Rafine's Tower. Okay, enters the battlefield, tapped. Uh, cycling, it's just one of those, yeah, that's pretty cool. And Quizza Augur of Agonies. Whenever you draw a card, target opponent loses one life and you gain one life. This is like a, this is actually like a, 
Nezukar? Is it Nez? It was a Nekusar. Yeah, it's kind of like a Nekusar effect, kind of, but except for. Do you gain a life with Nekusar? I don't remember. That's pretty cool. If I can focus on that. Sorry about the camera quality. It's pretty bad, but I'm using my phone to record and this like crappy app that I found. So sorry about that. Um, I, 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 uh, okay, it's very unfocused. I really want to get a new camera and stuff. So, so, I'm, so I do stream on Twitch and stuff, but I don't really have a camera for that. I just use my phone as like a face cam. That's a pretty good card. It's a, a four, four man, a three, four, a draw card ability. Not bad. Like if you don't want to run Necrosar, just run this. Like if you don't like the like colors of Necrosar, just run that. You know, not bad. Not bad. Uh, I don't think it's bad. Um, planes like this is pretty okay too. I mean, it gives you. I don't know what the uh, like. I don't know what the packs are. I don't know if it gives you like, like Esper pack or whatever. I don't know. Like it gives it just an X Esper pack and. I don't know if there's like different packs for each uh, three color stuff. Maybe there is, maybe there isn't. I don't know. I don't really know much about the new Cabana set. I just bought the pre-cons because I thought they looked cool. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'm going to give the, I'm going to give this deck like a solid, like, like just out of pure cards. I mean, that you can just straight up buy. Like, I mean, I don't know if you can buy all these cards for seemingly $30 is what I paid for them. Cause I only paid 150. If you can get the shield same deal I got, then yeah, go for it. But I don't know. I mean, you get a soul ring, you get candy P Vista. It's not bad. That that land, this land, that that scavenging ooze, arcane signet. This. I mean, you get a temple. It's not the greatest thing. You get a swift foot. Definitely, like for a beginner, I would just pick it up. It's not like terrible. It's not. I don't think it's. I've never played with it. I don't know. I don't know if it's terrible or not. How who would how would I know? I know it does have like a, a lot of synergies with plus one plus one counters. Um, definitely a lot of good cards just start you out with a plus one plus one counter deck. Like you're building a track, so just buy this, and you pretty much, pretty much got all your cards that you're ever gonna need if you're building a plus one plus one counter deck. But building the super friends attracts it, then you're a horrible person. I mean, you um, you're not really gonna get anything out of this. Um, there's definitely a lot of upgrades you can make to this. One is Herald of the Secret Streams. You just throw that in here. Um, a lot of these, a lot of these are just not, not uh, not as optimist as they could be. Like there definitely are slots that could just get taken out and put in for much better, much better cards. Um, like uh, there's there's definitely a lot of cards. Anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you. The next review I do, which will probably be tomorrow, because I have a lot of time in my hands, because uh, I don't know, I don't really have a lot of time in my hands. Oh, so you get those two. Forgot about it, I'm sorry. And the Corn's Bastion, which is pretty okay. And these Signet lands, which I don't think they're really that great, but prove me wrong. Um, anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully... You guys liked it because if not i don't know i don't know what i'll do i'll probably keep making videos with the crappy camera i have and hope for the best so see ya